everybody, it's Katie from Ray & Company Face Painting and Body Art and the Ray & Co Insiders channel. In this video, we are going to be doing a beginner's tutorial on how to do this sort of full face tiger. Um, it took me about 3 minutes and 14 seconds when I timed it out. Um, so it's going to take anywhere from 3 to 4 minutes depending on your um, hygiene practices, how comfortable you are with painting, and how many embellishments you add and all that stuff. So let's go over some of the supplies we'll be using in the beginner's tutorial. So um, having a cheap mister bottle handy, you can pick one of these up for a couple bucks at your local big box store. I always have at bare minimum some um, white holographic um, cosmetic glitter. Okay, some fine glitter. I've got some high density face painting sponges here. If I had to pick between the two, I would go with these teardrop sponges. I really love those. Great versatile shape. I have a um, tag regular white and a tag regular black here for line work. They're water activated paints, but they are wax based, so they're very good for line work. In terms of brushes, I'll be using the Paint Pal Classic Brush Collection today, um, which runs between $25 and $30 dollars depending on where you get it. Um, it comes with six brushes. First of all, it comes with this three quarter inch flat brush, um, a nice big filbert brush they call the big drop brush, a pretty petal brush which makes nice flower petals, and then um, it comes with three round brushes, a number four, a number three, and a number one. So really a nice versatile brush collection there. Um, for relatively, you know, it's relatively affordable. Um, okay, so I have a larger paint palette over here that I would use for my normal gigs, but because this is a beginner's tutorial, we are gonna use, replicate something similar to this. So basic 12 color beginner's palette. Um, this particular palette would have come with black and white. You don't see the white in here because it was all used up, um, but it would come with the white and black. So if you didn't wanna get larger, pots like these 90 gram containers. Um, if you didn't want to get those right away, you would be able to have them in this palette. If you want to snag this guide, how to build your first face painting starter kit, you can head over to my website at rayfaceart.com forward slash learn and get uh, recommendations on brands and where to purchase them and all of that. So, all right, so let's get started. I will be using um, one of these teardrop sponges. So we're going to start with that. Now on this guy over here, I ended up using a pearl white, kind of a shimmer white that's really pretty. I love it. But um, if you don't have that, we're going to go ahead and start with the tag regular white. So I'm going to just take the white. I spritzed it a little bit. I'm going to load the heel of my brush or my sponge with the white. I'll zoom in here for you guys. And we're just gonna kind of sponge on a muzzle, sort of a teardrop shape. Now it's a little bit harder on these boards to sort of blend into the skin because it's not skin, but we'll do our best to sort of blend out the edges here. All right, and then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to my yellow and my orange. And I'm just going to load up the tip of my sponge with the yellow and I'll load up the heel of it with the orange. Now I'm just using the same sponge. So I had my white here on the back side of it and now I have some orange and some yellow. All right, so if I head back over to my face, I will start by doing sort of a round shape between the eyebrows. And then this is where these, the shape of these sponges comes in real handy because you can kind of make some ears real quick. We're making rounded ears. If I turned the sponge around, I would make some, um, I'd be making some pointy ears, but tigers have round ears. 
I'm going to go back into my paints here, give them another little spritz. Water activated paint dries pretty quickly. All right, so I'm going to come in here, get a little more yellow, a little more orange, head back over to our face. And now we're going to sponge around the cheeks. I'm going to start over there. Load some over here as well. And this is where you can kind of start to blend that yellow into the white. Okay, so we have our basic shape sort of blocked out. Uh, my hands are relatively messy, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a baby wipe and just get those wiped off real quick before I start on my black line work. I tend to like the Water Wipes brand of Baby Wipe. Um, they're 99% water. They've just got like one other ingredient in them. So they're great for face painting because um, I use Baby Wipes not only to wash my hands, but I also use them on the kids as well. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my number four round brush and my black. And I just wet my brush. Um, and so I'm just kind of activating my black here. And we're going to work top to bottom. And so what I like to do is we'll start with the ear. And just to make it simple, I just kind of like to do these flicks sort of around the ear. So they're kind of like teardrops, but I make them a little bit rougher than I normally would with like a nice clean teardrop. Okay, now for the forehead is I will do like a kind of like this horseshoe shape and keep the center of the eyebrows as my focal point. So I try to make my line work go towards that spot. I don't have to go all the way down to that spot, but just kind of pointing towards that spot. So we had a horseshoe shape and then we'll do a sort of a rough teardrop here and another rough teardrop here. And then I'm going to go ahead and just give my black a little bit more, uh, a little bit of another spritz. All right. Now, Sometimes I will go ahead and take, um, for the girls, I will do sort of a cat eye effect just under the brow, pretty high up so that there's not that much risk of them opening their eyes and um, having it sort of bleed all over their eyelid. Bring that down. All right, so we do something like that. And then on the cheeks, I basically do the reverse of what we did here. So here we did a horseshoe and two teardrops. Oops, and I just touched my mat again. Um, but on the side of the face, we're going to do a two horseshoes and one teardrop. So we'll start here. And we'll kind of do a longer teardrop and then we're going to connect it and go over and do a shorter little teardrop, something like that. Now this isn't like the right way to do it or the wrong way. It's just a way. So, you know, if you come up with a different version of stripes, um, that's great. It'll be awesome either way. So then we're going to do a teardrop like this. We're going to do a short one. I'm going to bring it over and then we're going to do a little bit of a longer one. So as you can see, we did teardrop, horseshoe, teardrop, and we did horseshoe, teardrop, horseshoe. 
And then we're just going to replicate this on this side of the face. So we'll do a little bit of a longer one. And you can see that I'm kind of pointing all of the lines sort of towards the nose here. All right, and then we're going to do a little bit of a short one. And then we're going to do wiggle, wiggle, wiggle teardrop. And then for the final one, we're going to go longer and shorter, just like that. Okay, so for the nose, what I like to do is kind of do, um, kind of go up, down, up, just like this. And then where I go up, I just like doing these little flicks. I saw it in um, somewhere else and I really liked kind of just how it looked, how it made the nose look, so do that. And then for the muzzle that I do, I just like doing the dots. I like to keep it simple. I mean, usually I'm painting really small faces, and so I kind of try to, for me, um, my style is just kind of like less is more, usually. Um, so I don't like it when my designs start to get too crowded. So sometimes I'll draw a muzzle line around, um, but more often than not, I've been leaning towards just doing the dots. And then I'll do the split down the middle. Now, some people, um, some painters I know will paint the top lip, which you can certainly do, and we'll just show you what that looks like. Um, I tend not to do it because usually you're going to be doing it in black, and um, it tends, you know, they tend to sort of. Uh, they, they get rid of it right away. Actually, that goes the other way. We're going to erase that because technically it would go the other way. So, no biggie. We'll just grab our... You can tell that I don't do that that often. Um, I just don't like painting the lips usually uh, with the black just because it gets all over the kids right away. Um, and a lot of kids are just weird about painting on the lips, so... Um, just kind of all around, I tend not to do it, but. It really depends on kind of like what you're offering and if you're a pay per face artist or if you're just kind of doing things, um, volunteering. Okay, does that make more sense? Something like that. Okay. So this is really done. Um, if you wanted to speed this design up a little bit, there's a couple of ways that you could do it. First of all, you wouldn't have to do the line work um, on the ears. Sometimes I will just simply um, do these markings and then maybe add, like I'll position them up just a little bit higher and then maybe add one or two more markings on the side so that it's more just tiger stripes on the top instead of doing the ear. Um, you don't have to put the cat eye on. And um, sometimes if I'm really in a hurry, I won't even sponge on the white. So that's just an extra step that you don't necessarily need to take. And you can blend in the yellow right into the skin and um, it still looks really cute and the kids still adore it. So you don't have to do the whole muzzle white. If you wanted to, you could just sponge a little bit on the top of the nose. But um, even then, it's more or less just about sort of getting rid of that color or that step of having to load your sponge up with color. So you could just stick with the orange and the yellow and just do some tiger stripes. Um, you don't have to do the lip. I don't normally do the lip. And then um, the cat eye can save you some time as well, although that really doesn't add that much time. So there you have it. That is the about three to four minute uh, full face tiger. Like I said, you could probably shave off a good 30 seconds to a minute just by not uh, sponging on the white, but it really just depends on the type of event that you're painting at. 
if you want to learn more about the supplies and the brands and where to buy them, you can go to how to build your first face painting starter kit. Grab that either with the link in the description or head over to rayfaceart.com. And otherwise, thanks for watching the tutorial and I will catch you next time.